Humans have always wanted to reach for the stars. We visited the moon 50 years ago, climbed the world's highest mountains, built skyscrapers, and spent billions every year trying to leave the Earth. But there is one country that has recently decided to go in the opposite direction, China. For several years now, the Far Eastern superpower has been on a mission to explore the depths of our planet and open up what is probably the world's deepest hole. In this video, we take a look at this incredible project and answer many of your questions. What are China's motives? How deep can they go? And could the whole project go wrong? It all started in 2021, when Chinese President Xi Jinping launched a new initiative to explore the deepest layers of the Earth and invited the country's top scientists to stress the importance of the project. However, these were not just empty words, and China has taken action. In the Sichuan region, in the southwest of the country, some of China's best engineers have since been digging a hole that will be more than 9,000 meters deep. That is deeper than any ocean, and even higher than Mount Everest. But this is not the only project. Another drilling station has been set up in the Tarim region of northwest China. This drilling project aims to go even deeper. The plan is to reach a depth of 11,000 meters. That's about 0.09% of the Earth's diameter and would be a huge success. However, many experts believe that this is just the beginning. If both drilling projects achieve their goals, Many Western scientists suspect that China is likely to follow suit and launch an even more ambitious drilling project that could reach depths of up to 30 kilometers. Both projects are expected to cost more than $1 billion in total. So the question logically arises, what are China's reasons for digging these deep holes? There are two main reasons. The first is commercial. Deep within these layers of the Earth's crust lie potentially lucrative energy reserves, also known as geothermal energy. By tapping into these buried treasures, China can secure a vital source of energy to fuel its growth and development. The advantage of energy from deep underground would be that it would be as efficient as fossil fuels, but as clean as solar or wind power, while taking up far less space, freeing up more land for agriculture and other uses. Harnessing such an energy source could therefore propel China even further ahead economically than it already is. But in reality, China's commercial interests are not the main reason for drilling. Xi Jinping said the ultimate goal of this drilling is to reach Earth material formed more than 145 million years ago. The Earth's crust, with its layers of rock, can be thought of as a historical timeline. Each layer represents a chapter in the history of our planet's formation. Therefore, findings from these ancient layers can provide useful data for geoscientific research and help us to understand the internal structure and evolution of the Earth. They can also help us better assess environmental risks. By studying the deep layers, scientists can learn to make better predictions about environmental hazards, such as earthquakes and volcanic eruptions. But there is another scientific breakthrough that China hopes to achieve with its drilling projects. China wants to be the first country to reach the Earth's mantle. To understand why the Earth's mantle is of interest, we first need to know what it is and what we know about it. The Earth has several layers. The outermost layer, where we live, is the Earth's crust, it is between 10 and 30 kilometers thick. Just below this is the mantle. The mantle is the thickest layer of the Earth and makes up 85% of the Earth's volume. The amazing thing is that matter in the mantle is actually moving, not just standing still. Even though you might think that the mantle should be liquid and made up of magma or lava, this is not entirely true. The mantle is made up of rock. However, the high temperatures and pressures inside the Earth can cause rocks to flow. Although they appear static to us, these rocks move gradually over geological timescales of millions of years. The material at the boundary between the Earth's core and mantle heats up, loses density, and rises like bubbles. These rising bubbles move towards the lower edge of the Earth's crust. There they flow along until they cool and find their way back to the core. However, as mentioned above, the movements of the Earth's mantle are incredibly slow. In fact, a journey from the crust to the core and back can take up to 2 billion years. If you're wondering how scientists can know all this without ever reaching the Earth's mantle, previous knowledge about the Earth's mantle has been based on the analysis of rocks that have come to the surface during volcanic eruptions and also on the analysis of seismic waves during earthquakes, which can provide information about what must be happening beneath the Earth's crust. But what we can learn from these methods is very limited. 
So there are many open and unanswered questions about the Earth's mantle. Many of these questions could be answered if we could access it directly, for example, by drilling a borehole. Discovering an undisturbed piece of the Earth's mantle would be the scientific equivalent of landing on the moon. It would be like a shortcut to deciphering the origin of the Earth. This unique specimen would shed light on the raw materials from which our planet was formed. In addition, direct study of the Earth's mantle could unlock the secrets of the Earth's formation and evolution into the complex planet we know today. As we can see, China has good reason to drill deep, possibly all the way into the Earth's mantle. But will it succeed? And what could go wrong? To answer these questions, it is worth looking at the history of deep drilling. So far, three different countries have tried to drill deep into the Earth. The USA, Russia, and, surprisingly, Germany. In the 1950s and 1960s, the U.S. tried to drill the deepest hole in the world in a race with Russia during the Cold War. The project was called Mohole and was coordinated by a group called the American Miscellaneous Society. The aim was to reach the junction between the Earth's crust and mantle. They had a specific plan and they wanted to take a shortcut. The scientists wanted to drill through the bottom of the Pacific Ocean off the island of Guadalupe in the Pacific. The advantage was that the Earth's crust is thinner there, making it easier to drill. However, they first had to reach the ocean floor before they could start drilling into the crust. All in all, the project was a huge undertaking and required many innovations. Although progress was made, the project became so incredibly expensive in the 1960s that the U.S. government canceled it prematurely for financial reasons in order to concentrate more on space travel. There were other American drilling programs after Project Mahole that were much smaller but very successful. They confirmed that there are such things as moving tectonic plates, which can explain continental shifts and the occurrence of many earthquakes. As mentioned above, there was also a major drilling program in Germany that went even deeper than the Americans. In Bavaria, the Federal Ministry of Research and Technology started such a program in 1987. The aim was to explore the Earth's crust more closely. To this end, a drilling rig over 80 meters high was built, and over the next eight years, it drilled to a depth of more than 9,100 meters. Many experiments were then carried out in the resulting borehole, but drilling was discontinued after 1995. Only one country has gone deeper underground to date, and that is Russia. Starting in 1970, the former Soviet Union drilled the world's deepest hole on the Kola Peninsula for almost 20 years. The drilling eventually reached an incredible 12,200 meters, and there were plans to go even deeper, but the drilling was stopped in the early 1990s. But why? Temperatures in the borehole unexpectedly reached 180 degrees Celsius. This high temperature was more than a minor problem and pushed the drilling equipment to its limits. The machines began to weaken, and the drill bits quickly wore out in these extreme conditions. In order to continue drilling, new expensive technologies were needed for less and less scientific knowledge, requiring a budget that was simply no longer available after the collapse of the Soviet Union. Three years later, the entire facility was closed. Today, it is a destination for adventurous tourists. As we can learn from the history of deep drilling, China needs two things above all else to succeed in digging the world's deepest hole a very large budget and drilling equipment that can withstand extreme temperatures of over 200 degrees C and extremely high pressures. If China succeeds, it will have the opportunity to gain new scientific knowledge and tap into a completely untapped energy reserve. So it remains to be seen how China's deep drilling projects will continue. Let us know what you think in the comments and leave a like and subscribe if you enjoyed the video.